Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to be doing uh, some more coloring. Uh, this is Mo's Digital Pencil, Father and Daughter. And I made this card and um, I wanted to show you how I colored it. This image is super cute. It reminds me of um, like my husband and my daughter when she was really young. So um, I love this image. Uh, this um, is a digital image that I purchased from his site, but he does um, have uh, the stamp version of this as well. Here I'm um, coloring uh, his skin, and for his skin I'm using uh, Copics, uh, E50, E53, and E55. And um, I went in with my darkest E55 and put in where I want the shadows to be. And then I go in with my medium and, and touch that dark and bring it out a little bit more. And then I go all over with the uh, lightest color. And then I repeat again. Um, I'll go in with my darkest sometimes and uh, lightest to achieve the uh, color that I want. For this little girl, I'm just using E50 and E53 because I wanted her skin to be um, a, a lighter than the dad. And for the hair, I'm using, again, the same uh, E53 and E55, only two colors. So this is um, really small. There's a lot of small um, areas to color for this image. And for her dress, I'm using my uh, Shinhan Touch uh, marker. And I'm using rose pink and blush. And um, coloring in her little sandals as well. So for um, around the creases, I'm giving more a shadow. Uh, so I'm making it a little more darker. And for his inside of his shirt, I just um, colored it with C1. And then for his um, shirt, I'm using um, sky blue and pale baby blue. I'm just using um, two colors. I want his shirt to be kind of on the uh, lighter um, blue. So here I'm just coloring the entire image with the lighter blue and then again I'm doing the um, tip to tip to uh, make it slightly darker and blend the dark color with the light color a little more. I'm putting some more uh, shading um, where I want the deepest uh, shadows to be. Sorry, you can't see his head. Sorry about that. This is a coloring of his hair, and I didn't know that I wasn't in frame, but his hair um, is also a small space um he doesn't have uh the hair part is not that um it wasn't that hard because it's a small area and then making his hair darker brown and then for the pants i'm using um grays here i'm using um w9 w7 and w5 so again, I'm going in with my darkest, and then um, I go in with my medium and my light. Uh, this is just the way I prefer to color. Um, so I'm not like uh, like a professional artist or anything like that. I, this is just the way I color uh, my images. So 
So I'm making the creases by his um, thighs a little more to give um, more shading. So I go back and forth uh, to achieve the color that I want. And once I'm satisfied, I'll move on to the next. And for his belt and his shoes, I'm making it black. Um, but I don't want to just color in the black. So here I'm putting in um, C, um, C9. And then I'm going to color the whole thing with the C7. And then I go back with black to um, give more um, shadows. And then for his lace, I just use C1. So for their little flowers, which is really tiny, I'm just using green and two yellows. And then for the ground, I'm used putting some spots. Uh, the illustrator already kind of created that uh, ground um, for this image. And um, you can purchase this on his website, mosdigitalpencil.com. Sorry, trying to um, zoom out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.